ladies and gents, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I do my struggle, and when I say struggle, I mean struggle Bantu Not Out. I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'm starting off by dampening my hair a little bit with water. Then what I'm doing is following up with my tangle teaser to further detangle my hair. After that, I go in with my leave-in conditioner. I'm using the Cream of Nature Coconut Milk Curl Repair Leave-In because I previously used this to style my hair and I just want to reactivate the product. Now here comes the fun part. I'm taking my Cream of Nature Coconut Milk Hydrating Curl Cream to style my hair. First what I do is do a two-strand twist And then I twirl my hair into a coiling motion in order to form a loop to start off the knot process. Once the loop is formed, I wrap my hair around itself until I get to the end and then I tuck my ends in. I continue the whole process until I finish my whole head. I spray my hair, I detangle my hair, put a leave-in conditioner, and then I use the styling cream and start to twist and bantu knot my hair. It sounds pretty easy, but I'm like really terrible at doing these knots, and sometimes they unravel, and it's just like a whole big mess. That's why I don't do bantu knots often, but I decided to try and film a tutorial for you guys so that you guys could try it out yourself. I like to twist my hair tightly in order to get maximum definition. One reason I like to start off on stretched hair is because it gives my hair an elongated look. If you'd like to see how I stretch my hair, check out my previous video. And these are what my knots are looking like. I feel like they could have been a little neater and wrapped a little tighter, but this will have to do. I let my hair air dry at night, and then in the morning I put an oil of my choice on my fingertips, and I begin the unraveling process. First what I do is unravel each knot. Then I begin to separate my twist. I like to split them down the middle. When I'm done unraveling my twist, I like to split my hair where my hair naturally wants to split in order to create more volume. I then use either an afro pick or a big tooth comb to give my hair more volume. This is what my hair looks like stretched versus unstretched. I continue separating my hair and picking my hair until I get my desired look. And voila, this is what my hair looks like when I'm done. Overall, I'm not a huge fan of doing bantu knots because I think I don't do them right, but I do love the results. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up, comment in the comment section, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Peace and love always. Bye!